What's good, ladies and gentlemen? YouTube J Daisy here with the J Daisy Gaming Channel. Here with Mr. Shifty. This just hit the Steam store. Uh, it is on a 10% sale. It's uh, 14 bucks, I think, or 15 bucks. I have to check to make sure. Um, and it's a top-down kind of jump action sort of game. I really don't know how to describe it. It's kind of different. It's a. Uh, it's in that genre of games where you. This is one of those few games that I can sit back and just play on my couch or my bed and not have to worry too much about concentration. It's 1349 on So the whole premise of the game is it, it definitely does not take itself seriously. Um, it's a very fun game. I, I sat down last night to record the footage we were watching and played for almost two hours without even really thinking about it. Um, it's in that kind of... Uh, uh, rage quit kind of games where you will die many times trying to figure out a puzzle. Um, pretty much you are a jumper from the movie Jumpers. Um, it doesn't say that that's pretty much what you are. It's kind of, I really enjoy it. It makes you feel kind of like a superhero. Um, and you're in this giant tower fighting or trying to stop Mr. Asshole or Mr. Stone or whatever the antagonist name is. They, they call him Mr. Asshole a lot. Um, who has some plutonium bomb or something and you're trying to get it um, via the levels of the tower that's supposed to be unbreakable um, and you start off very like most of these kind of games you start off with the one enough guard to just have a little pistol and you can just run around and punch real easy and it steps up um, there's very few mechanics like I said I play it with uh, the steam controller which by the way I do use the steam controller every once in a while but mainly it's for uh, like sur surfing the internet um, just in my chair without having to move forward. So I was playing with the Steam controller just fine. It's fully optimized for it, mainly because you're just using a joystick and uh, X for punching, Y for your jumping uh, from place to place. Um, so it is fully compatible with controller. It even recommends controller, and I actually even recommend controller, and uh, I often don't do that. Um, like I was saying though, the, the it starts off with basic garbage with pistols and then it kind of jumps up to big guys that can kill you with one punch and then it uh, jumps up to people with full automatic weapons and then it jumps up to the shotgun guys and the shotguns are just assholes. Um, and now the part I'm at is uh, with turrets, you don't have to deal with turrets. Um, and as you play you can pick up weapons like broomsticks or uh, the like just sticks off chairs or uh, eventually a trident that you just throw like a trident. Um, and use those and that helps you take out people most of, like if you're punching a person it takes normally two hits to kill to knock them out um, but if you have a weapon it's one so uh, the weapons definitely make a big difference the level design is great I have a lot of, um, it's very linear there's not a whole lot of like side scrolling or going to different places um, it's top down though so that's that um, at some points in the level you have to find like a secret door by just punching walls until you find the one that uh, is a secret wall um, and like most of these kind of games you can't leave the level or go to the next stage until you've cleared out all the bad people in a certain level um, and then it normally seems like there's three or four stages per level and then at the end it just gives you of the level it gives you your score of time and kit death um, so it's a very arcadey game I, I, but I really do enjoy it and for the price you are it's for 13 bucks uh, it's great 15, um, yeah, it's still fairly, 10 is probably where a good price point would be, but it's brand new, so 15 is not crazy. Um, I think, I've, like I said, I got two hours of enjoyment out of it already, and that's just from one time playing with the controller. It, I forgot how weird and some, somewhat good it feels to play with the controller. Um, the game gets really hectic, so... Uh, at some points it'll just be like survive a wave type of deal instead of going through a level and that's normally when it gets really hectic because you're just trying to punch all these people and more people are coming in and there's shotguns going off I um, mean you have this special ability that if you have bullets go by you and just barely miss you it powers up this uh, slow-mo thing and it automatically activates so you don't activate it so it's kind of finicky um, but if you miss a bunch of bullets, normally like if you're in a wave clearing thing, and that activates, it slows down time and you can just run around and punch everyone. The problem with that is, if you're, uh, that I've ran into, is if you're fighting someone with a shotgun, and that slow-mo activates, you can still get hit by their bullets. They are still moving. And you can die, I died several times by getting hit from a bullet that was in slow motion. So it is not, it's not like a cure. Um, 
I, to the best of my knowledge, there's no skill tree, there's no microtransactions, there's nothing. The game you get is the game you get, and it's basic arcader. I'm probably a little over a quarter of the way, maybe under a half, it seems, by the, it shows, like, the tower when you clear stage. Obviously, you're trying to get to the antagonist. Um, I have just gotten to a stage now where you act actually have to run through areas that um, negate your jumping power. So now it's a more of a trying to find cover and get away from things. It's a really basic, really good arcader. I highly recommend it. Um, pick it up if you can pick it up now. While it's on sale. I would say that's the best time. Even if you get it for 15, I don't feel like you're going to get uh, cheated out money. Um, I do not know if the developers plan on adding more levels and all this. I haven't hit the end game yet, so I don't know what there is at the end. Um, but yeah, it's a very not taking itself too seriously arcade. Uh, great for just laying back and playing a game with a controller. I tried with mouse and keyboard, and it's a little jankier. It's a little... It's playable. Don't get me wrong. It's very, very, very much playable. It is just... Playing with a controller is what it's optimized for. And I, me using the Steam controller um, works. I, like I said, I'm only on PC. I don't know if this is on anything else. But if you have a Steam controller, it's very much worth a buy. If you're on a uh, keyboard, it's still worth a buy, but try and get it on the sale. Um, that would be my recommendation. It just works naturally better because I think that's what they naturally optimize it for. But yeah, there you go, guys. Game Fresh came out. Mr. Shifty it is. It's on Steam for $13.49. Highly recommend. Um, as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or ideas of games you'd like to have, see have a review, uh, please feel free to hit me up in the comment section or uh, on any of the social medias. I love to hear from you guys. And as always, we're all in this one together. See you in the next one.